I said it at the time he resigned. I give Eric Holder an A or an A plus on everything not having to do with financial malfeasance and a lack of prosecution mm. for that. So, and then it just depends on how much you want to rank that mm. and where you want to knock his grade down to. But I think overall he was a very good attorney general. So she followed in those footsteps, yeah. and you know I, I'd be I'd be comfortable with that. Yeah, no, you're going to get a fight out of us on that. Right. I <laughs> so, that's like rating a pilot an A on everything except the landing. <laughs> no, that's, a, you know, that's, a great, that's a great line that is totally out of it's bounds. Totally, it's <laughs> totally, it's totally true. 100% out of bounds. It's it totally not because because if you don't yeah. enforce the law against criminal bankers, they they're, they will continue to do it, which they are. We already know they are doing, and because they are doing it, we are going to have another meltdown at some point in the future, and people are getting ripped off today. So, yeah, maybe I stretched the bound slightly. I bent it. I don't think I broke it. It's no more bending it than me saying that's because you're a white guy and don't care about voting rights. That's the same kind of bend that that <laughs> no, was. No, no, it's no. Yes, no, I, no, that, okay, right, that I actually can, falls me, under cheap shot. Okay, no, right, all right. And, uh, but I don't believe it. So I'm just, okay. yeah. Uh, let me just do two things. First of all, give uh, uh, Richard a, a nice shout out for that analogy. I was going to go with this in calculus ca class. He's really good, it's just not at math. Right, but yours is much better. So no, that's great. Uh, okay, <laughs> right. Ben likes okay. it. We could go with that one. Right, uh, but no. Let me buttress what uh, Richard's saying. And, and so I think I'm going to get you to agree with me, Ben. We might disagree on some of the stuff. Like, of course, I agree with you. They did a good job on voting rights, and 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 they did a very good job on Ferguson. And he was bold in some areas. He fought for uh, to try the Guantanamo detainees here in he the did. in the U.S. He lost, but you got to give him an A for effort. You know, I, I don't know what else he could have done. Significantly, also, he didn't cower on the guns for whatever that was called. What was that? No, no, you, I think you're, the Fast and Furious. I think you're wrong about that. I think he admitted yeah. a lot of fault that was not true at all, that he should not have admitted any of that. Because there I, was, because it was wrong. He was wrong to, like, Fortune had the definitive article on that saying they didn't give the guns to the Mexican drivers. They tried I, to prevent it, and uh, they couldn't because well, of the Well, that's what I read right as navigating a difficult political field while not totally bending over backwards and not really allowing that to be a political issue. Nah, I think he blundered the reaction to that. But the, the, th the main thing I want to point is strike two, which is, I, in my opinion, just the death knell for his legacy, was him saying uh, that... Uh, judicial re you don't need judicial review for due process. That due process is just the president saying it's due process. Like he got together with a bunch of his friends in the executive branch and decided we're going to kill Anwar al 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 even though he's a U.S. citizen, without a trial, without an indictment, without anything, without any judicial process, we can now execute U.S. citizens because due process no longer means the judiciary, just means the president really wanted to do it. And, that, and I think that is a terrible, right. hideous precedent. Yeah. And that if, alone kills And if his, a Republican attorney general had done that, liberals would have been screaming. Yeah, but a Republican well, attorney general would never have done that. the other stuff. And you guys, right, no, no, in no. your eagerness to criticize the non-progressives, and you are so eager to it, it comes out of your mouths, you leave out tons of great stuff. And that tons of great stuff matters, and it matters a lot. And guess what? That great stuff matters more to me and a lot of other people, too, than the stuff that you're talking about. You know, I, I regret, and I, well, it doesn't matter whether I regret it, that's what keeps him from being a great attorney general. And I think those are, that's, it's all relevant. But there are a lot of things that would have made him a great attorney general that others just, we would never have done. Those are yeah. stands that would not have been taken and would never have been prioritized. You know, here's the thing that, that I think is mistaken about that point of view. I'm, I, I don't think either Jenk or I are saying that he hasn't done great things. It, but this polarity between, this perceived polarity between the civil rights issues and the economic and, and individual freedoms issues, to me, is totally artificial. The worst victims of bank fraud in this country have been and will continue to be minorities. So that is a civil rights issue. You can't, like, tear them up part and say, well, even jokingly, you're a white guy that doesn't care about black people, because black people are getting screwed by the banks more than anybody else, probably. And and, and the whole notion that he, he can be great except for, he did some great things. I acknowledge yeah. that. But in the end, I think we're coming out not all that far apart. He does not get a gold star because of the things he did very wrong. Yeah. I'm okay. actually I'm actually further to the left than than, than Richard is on this. I, ben, I, I hear everything you're saying. I'm not taking away any of that. I'm just saying those two strikes against him uh, on being incredibly soft on the bankers and literally saying 
uh, that you know we could not prosecute some of them because of the effects that we think it would have on the global economy, main, meaning I'm declaring them too big to jail, which is unbelievable, mm -hmm. and saying the due process is just the executive branch, I can't forgive that, that those are yeah. not small things, those are not things you weigh against other things.